Miami Dolphins fans have been hard on Chris Greer and many still believe that he should be fired. We can't let him off the hook yet but he absolutely killed this year's draft. For all the talk of wasted picks on Noah Igbenogany and Austin Jackson, the 2021 NFL draft has been a lot better for Greer. While we are still waiting to see what happens with Liam Eikenberg and third-round pick Hunter Long, the first three picks have been stellar. Jalen Waddell is closing in on several Dolphins rookie receiver records including yardage which is currently owned by Chris Chambers. Waddell is also in the top five of all NFL receivers in catches. He currently has 77. Waddell has been exceptional and while many still believe that Jamar Chase will earn the AFC Offensive Rookie of the Year honor, Waddell is making it a race that earlier this year was nothing more than a runaway for Chase. With their second pick in this year's draft, fans were quick to criticize Greer for taking Jalen Phillips over Najee Harris and after a slower start for Phillips and Harris doing well in Pittsburgh, Greer looked to have missed. I pointed out only two games ago that I wasn't all that impressed with Phillips but could see some positives in his game. At the time I said I hoped he could figure it out and develop. A lot has changed since then. Phillips has eight sacks on the season and at least one half sack in the last five games. Everything is clicking for Phillips right now and he is putting up numbers that could give voters pause when they are considering Phillips and fellow rookie Micah Parsons for postseason honors. Parsons has 10 sacks on the year. Miami hit on both of their number one draft picks, at least it seems that way but the best of the three may very well second round pick Javon Holland. Holland plays all over the field and has been incredibly consistent this year. While we talk about Waddle and Phillips getting respective Rookie of the Year chatter, Holland may very well be the Dolphins' Rookie of the Year. He is playing that good. For all the negatives that Greer has faced this year alone, and some of them deserved, he has to be applauded for what he took home from the draft. The Miami Dolphins claimed Philip Lindsay last week off of waivers. Could he become the team's starting running back for the rest of the season? There have been a number of underwhelming positional units for the Miami Dolphins this season, but the running game might be the worst. Miles Gaskin has been the premier running back in 2021, but has amassed just 482 yards through 12 games and is better utilized in the short passing game. The next two leading rushers on the team are Salvan Ahmed and Malcolm Brown, both of whom have less than 125 rushing yards on the year. Much like the well-chronicled criticism of Tua Tungavailoa, the blame likely lies more in the offensive line. The Dolphins' offense has struggled for a majority of the season, mostly due to the lack of running game and leaky pass protection that ranks the worst in the league. The big men up front have been the Achilles heel of the team this year, so much so that an offensive that was supposed to be explosive is instead one of dinks and dunks. But Miami running game got a shot in the arm on Sunday in the Dolphins' 33-10 victory over the Carolina Panthers. Philip Lindsay who was claimed off of waivers just this past week, saw limited snaps but was impressive both in both pass protection and with the ball in his hands. He had 42 yards on 12 carries for a 3.5 YPC average, identical to Gaskin's average on the year. But there was something about the way Lindsay ran and burst through what limited holes he had that we just haven't seen from Gaskin or any of the other Dolphins running backs. It wasn't an overly impressive showing, but Lindsay may have shown the coaching staff enough to potentially make a push for Gaskin's starting job. If the newcomer is able to help mask at least some of the deficiencies of the offensive line through his vision and running style, then Miami running game could become a respectable one over the season's final five games. Lindsay's most impressive play may have come in pass protection, however. On what turned out to be the Dolphins' longest play of the game, he picked up the blitzing edge rusher, saving Tunga Vailoa from what would be a sure sack and a third and long in a crucial point of the contest. The quarterback instead hit Jalen Waddell for a 57-yard gain that set up a touchdown. It was all made possible by Lindsay, who was able to pick up the slack laid down by Liam Eikenberg and his missed block. Evidently, Lindsay may be able to mask offensive line deficiencies in both the running and passing attacks. If this is the case, then there is little reason to believe why he shouldn't be considered for the starting spot. It will be interesting to see if Brian Flores and company stick with Gaskin for another week before heading into the bye and then re-evaluating, or if they believe that an immediate change is necessary.